All right, good morning, everyone. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to GitOps Con, North America 2022. Um, this is our, I think, our third one? Fourth one, third one in person. Um, second one in North America, so the first one was in LA, so I'm um, glad to see this grow. Um, it's always it's great to see all um, everyone's faces in 3D, as, uh, as Scott says. So um, we're gonna kick things off, just like a few uh, logistical area, uh, things. Um, the, the breakout rooms for the, first, uh, the second track, right? So there's two tracks. Um, if you are either speaking or want to, wanting to attend a track um, in the second track, it's actually down the hall in 251, right? There'll be someone there in the front um, in rooms A, B, C, right? So 251 A, B, C. It's literally down the hall a few steps down the, that way so you don't have to travel far. Um, uh, restrooms, I don't know where they are. I believe they're back there. Yes, Yeah, thank anyone you. know? Yes, yes, so they're, they're back there. Um, okay. And, um, uh, you know, coffee, refreshments, all of that is just outside. If you didn't get a, a drink ticket or a food ticket, uh, the lovely ladies outside will have that for you. They're the ones that give you the wristband. So if you didn't get one, um, make sure you grab that so that way you can get lunch. So um, I just, I believe with that, we can just kick it off, right? We'll just- uh, Yeah, abs absolutely. Let me advance these slides. So, uh, so I'm Scott Rigby. I work at WeaveWorks um, as a developer experience engineer. Um, I am one of the co-chairs of the GitOps Working Group and amongst a, a good group of maintainers from across multiple organizations uh, for open GitOps. And um, I'm also, I do other things in the CF, CNCF ecosystem. Um, I co-maintain the Flux community and um, I co-maintain the Helm project uh, and other, a few other things. So um, that's me. Yes, uh, my name is Christian Hernandez. I'm a product manager at Red Hat. Um, I am a maintainer of Open GitOps uh, in the GitOps Working Group. Um, I'm also involved in other things um, uh, in the CNCF, but mainly in the um, Argo uh, uh, in the Argo project, right? Ecosystem uh, contributor there, and um, yeah, all around GitOps guy. As, I, as you see, I'm wearing the shirt today, so. Um, oh, shamed. Shamed. That's right. <laughs> we should have coordinated. So, um, no, you go ahead, I'll do the next one. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> so okay, so we're thanking our sponsors, right? So thank you Red Hat for being a diamond sponsor, super awesome, or being the diamond sponsor for this, super awesome, appreciate you. Yeah, and uh, thank you to AWS, uh, who's a platinum sponsor uh, for this event, so. Okay, so about the GitOps working group and open GitOps, uh, a bunch of you may know, but I'll give just a brief intro for those that don't. Um, the GitOps Working Group is a working group, a CNCF working group under the App Delivery Technical Advisory Group. Um, we've been doing this for some years now, and it's, um, uh, it's, there's a really good gang of folks. Um, actually, raise your hand if, you're, if you've joined GitOps Working Group meetings or are part of the GitOps Working Group. Yeah, so we have a good representation of people here in person from, from the group. Uh, so, you know, like, obviously when we, when we have coffee breaks and stuff, please feel free to connect with each other on that. Um, and we'll also show you how to get involved. Um, the working group has guided the Open GitOps project and still guides the Open GitOps project, which is a CNCF sandbox project. Um, I think as, as most people know, there's sandbox incubating and graduating projects within CNCF. Um, open GitOps is that, and the Open GitOps, pro GitOps project is meant to um, be the place where we, ha where we hold um, all persisting uh, things that relate to GitOps. Um, uh, documents, uh, any certifications um, that, that are forthcoming, um, programs and events and stuff go through the Open GitOps project. Yeah, so um, I actually just uh, <laughs> said some of this, but, but yeah, so, so, um, so right, we're, the main premise of the, get up, of the working group is to clearly define a vendor new pr neutral principle-led definition of GitOps, and we'll go over the GitOps principles in just a bit. 
Um, and as I said about the sandbox project, uh, yes, it holds those things. Um, it also, the, the documents right now contain the CNCF, um, uh, sorry, contain the principles and the glossary specifically for GitOps. Also giving a, bit, a shout out to the, the general CNCF um, glossary that is at glossary.cncf.io. For folks that are interested in the definition of GitOps there, we are still working on it. We have, um, uh, it, was, it was a relatively recent invite. Um, so if you are interested, there's an open pull request and we'll send that to you. Um, we'll, we'll make sure that that's in the links and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that's in the presentation when we upload this. Um, but the, the point of that is it's supposed to be uh, readable by someone who has really no domain knowledge about this whatsoever. So let's say someone in upper level management of a company uh, that is a non, a person that's not really in the weeds with the technical stuff. So yeah, if you're interested in that, please let us know. Which is difficult, by the way. Yeah, which is, which is kind of, kind <laughs> to of try to explain it to non-technical people. Yeah, um, but yes, yeah. Yeah, so with that, that pull request is still open and um, yeah, we invite everyone to, to uh, chime in. Um. Yep. And uh, yeah, go to opengitops.dev, please, to see, you know, to see information about GitOps. Uh, we've got the principles, the contributors, um, and then copies of all of the documents that I just mentioned. Um, events as well. So um, yeah, now we're gonna go over how GitOps relate to other tech practices. Yeah. And by the way, thank you, William, who's here. There he is. Yeah, he's, shout, he's, out he, William, shout out to William, because he's the one that, that helped out with uh, mapping the GitOps principles, right, which we hope most of you are familiar with, to, to practices in tech. So, um, so basically modern, um, um, mapping those practices to uh, the, the GitOps principles. So that try to resonate it more with, uh, with you folks out there. So um, I guess I'll kick it off, right? Okay. So the, um, uh, the first principle is that it's declarative. I'm actually just gonna do what I don't like to do and read off the slide. But it's um, a system managed by GitOps must have its desired state express declaratively, right? And so this kind of matches things like uh, configuration as code, um, we have infrastructure as code, you know, this is like DevOps, DevSecOps, right? Some of the, this is kind of like the cornerstone of these practices and also GitOps, right? GitOps also uses that declarative model um, for, uh, for uh, managing a system, so. Yeah, basically soup to nuts is the ideal thing where you've got, you know, like not only your infrastructure but your networking and your policies, and then also all the applications that run on that. Pretty much anything that's required to um, to reproduce a system, your system exactly the way you want it, or exactly the way it was if there was, say, a disaster, or um, just just for replication purposes, multi-cloud, etc. Um, yeah. So then, um, mm -hmm. do you want to keep yeah. going with these ones? Yeah. So the second one is version and immutable, right? So the desired uh, again, the desired state is stored in a way that enforces immutability, versioning, and retains a complete version history. Um, and then I always like to point out that notice we didn't say Git, even though it's called Git Ops, right? So it's like <laughs> we, we try to make um, um, these as generic as possible so that way it can be applied broadly. And so, um, so for instance, like an S3 storage meets, meets all those requirements, right? So you don't necessarily have to put it in Git. Um, you know, we each may have our opinion, but hey, it doesn't necessarily have to be there, right? And this really um, maps to the infrastructure as code aspect of it. Um, you know, DevOps, DevSecOps, right? It uses that version and immutable aspect of it, and GitOps does as well. OCI. Yeah, OCI, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, and, um, and, and also notice that um, this is just a screenshot of our website with these little practices mapped that, uh, stuck on, on under each principle. So um, please do go to the website for anyone who hasn't already, you know, um, gone uh, into the principles and the glossary because these little yellow notes like say stored and, and so on, they link to glossary definitions. To glossary terms, yeah. Yeah, that give like other important pieces of information about what is meant by that. Cool. So the next one is it's pulled automatically. So software agents automatically pull the desired state declarations from the source. I always like to add here, the, the word pulled um, kind of trips people up a little bit. We, we, don't, we don't mean like as, as in pull and push, as in like the configurations, right? Like 
we mean as in your declarations, right? The declarations are pulled from a source. How you apply them, whether it's in a push or pull method, that's, we, we don't have a strong opinion on that. But we do have a strong opinion on how you get those declarations, and those declarations are pulled, really. And it's really to differentiate them from, like, webhooks, right? So from, you know, um, you know classic CI/CD sort of webhooks kind of, you know, I, I hit a webhook and then something happens. No, like, this, it automatically pulls that information, right? And this is uh, maps to, like, um, you know, DevOps and DevSecOps and GitOps as well. Um, uh, practices where things are pulled from that declaration automatically and it's done via a um, some sort of software agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, this is a super important point here because, you know, like usually when you're going through the principles with folks that are already really involved in technical practices and, um, and DevOps practices and so on, we, we start describing that everything must be declarative. They're like, okay, infrastructure is code, cool, cool, uh, I'm doing that. Right? Um, it's version immutable. Okay, we've got our stuff in Git. Cool. Um, and, you know, uh, pretty, pretty much after that this is where it starts to diverge, I think, as a community, because, or not as a community, but yeah, like with various practices and where traditional CI CD really. Mm -hmm. the, the, point, the point of this that Christian was mentioning, I think, is that like event driven things are great, it, things happen faster. It's awesome. With Git, GitOps, you can still have um, ev event, uh, events make your reconciliation go faster. Give a little message and say, hey, I did something, and then, and then GitOps will say, oh, cool, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and fetch that. But the reason that it needs to be pulled is because, is because of this next principle, which, yeah. you know, uh, it, it, you, can't, you can't really have the system self-heal on you <laughs> or self-heal for you when divergence happens that has nothing to do with something that you did in Git. You know, so like divergence can happen because there was a networking issue or so there was a bad actor in your system or all kinds of things. And if your system is only relying on your developers to do something before uh, CD happens, like deployment happens, uh, or the reconciliation for that deployment, um, then you, you will still have drift. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and like, um, like Scott said, they kind of like build on each other because then like it leads to this next principle, right? And, um, and I like to actually mention the practice before the actual, so this is the one that kind of like differentiates a little bit, um, like I guess our crown jewel, I, I would imagine, <laughs> what, what, um, you know, what differentiates like someone like doing GitOps versus doing like traditional CI CD is that it's continuously reconciled as, um, as Scott was mentioned, right? So software agents continuously observe the, um, the actual system state and then attempts to reconcile it with the desired state. And so that's kind of the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the main point of GetOps, right? And that's kind of like that practice is like, okay, like if you're doing all of these, yes, you're doing DevSecOps, yes, you're doing Dev, uh, DevOps, you're doing infrastructure as code, like all of this is all related. And at the very end, um, but it's, is it continuously reconciled, right? Is it continuously going, is it continuously monitoring your system? Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's also the aspect of observability as well, um, is like, do I need to do something to the system? Um, I think that also is an aspect of the continuously reconciled. Um, I'm getting maybe a little bit too specific there, but just generically speaking, uh, system managed by GetOps is continuously reconciled. Yeah, I think that's right, where we say, like literally, um, uh, the, uh, the software agents attempt to apply the desired state, that attempt um, can be, most of the time, you, you want it to be a closed loop. It's not uh, in the principles because that's not required. You can make a, uh, a cron job that just does kube, yeah. kube cuddle apply. You know, yeah. like, uh, While but, true, do kube cuddle right, apply. Right, yes. sure, sure. Um, it, it wouldn't be a very intelligent one. You know, it wouldn't really be able to respond to any feedback or, or previous attempts, but, um, but you could do that. So, uh, however, during that attempt, various actions are made by those software agents on behalf of, of, um, of you uh, <laughs> to like say alert on divergence, to, you know, um, do you think this is very similar to uh, Kubernetes core, um, let's say, um, back off options and so on. There, there are different like ways to make your, um, your agents more intelligent and the main tools that are out there to do this do, do that. Yeah. Cool, yeah. 
And uh, no, I think that's, I think you put that out beautifully. Yes. Cool, yes, announcements. These are awesome. These are cool, cool things are happening, right? Um, so first, I'd like to say we have new maintainers, right? This is actually was a, was a process, but we actually got um, uh, a lot of people who have been uh, uh, attending regularly and uh, helping out um, with the project. So we decided to expand uh, the maintainer list uh, to include more maintainers. Um, so, um, J um, sorry if I butcher some of these names. Uh, Jamie Ma uh, Majera, who's was actually here at KubeCon, but he's actually doing OpenShift Commons. Um, he's from the University of Michigan. He's a new maintainer. Um, uh, Nicholas uh, Met Metke, Met um, I, I think uh, uh, someone who's German can tell me how to pronounce that. Um, who um, who is actually. Um, I believe he runs his own consulting firm. So uh, he's, um, um, he maintains actually a lot of the website stuff. He's doing a lot of automation with the website. So um, he's been helping out a lot. Uh, uh, Robert Strand, who's been involved since the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it was only natural yeah. for him to become a, become a maintainer. And William as well, as we mentioned, William Kaban from, uh, from Red Hat. He's also been contributing a lot, um, especially around um, like sustainability and stuff like we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit. So. Um, and then we have, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's thanks, it for the new maintainers. Yeah, and thanks to our pre uh, previous maintainers that yeah. are no longer here, um, who are listed here. Chris Sanders, Chris Patterson, Jesse Butler, and Nate Tabor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For your service. Thank you for your service, um, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, I, maybe I'll mention the updated governance yes. real quick. Yeah. So um, another thing Which that explains the graphic, by the way, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. okay. Uh, yes, so the governance um, for Open GitOps has changed from, from there being a, a top level maintainer um, uh, status for, um, for co chairs for the GitOps working group to the maintainers of, of Open GitOps. So that's just a good new thing. If, if you don't know anything about that, then you'll be like, cool. But if you do, um, it's, it's kind of nice because it helps things move a little bit more smoothly procedurally. So, yeah. so essentially, yeah. the, the, the power it, um, now resides with the maintainers now, um, whereas before, a lot of the power um, was with the co-chairs, mm -hmm. um, I guess for bootstrapping purposes. But now that uh, the governance has been updated, Approved that PR was approved. It was awesome. Now, um, now the the top level is uh, the maintainers. So yeah, just go to open dash gitops or sorry github.com slash open dash gitops org projects repo and then there's a governance file that explains you know basic voting things and also how you can get involved too and we'll explain that too. Yeah, and then yeah, so we're growing as as, um, as Scott mentioned right like how you, how you can get involved and, and do things. Um, there's we're growing to the point where uh, folks from the uh, from the working group are um, forming uh, subgroups right that have to do with GitOps. So for uh, for example, as I mentioned earlier, earlier, sustainability that's something I know that at William and Nicholas was has, has been really interested in it. Um, in starting that that subgroup of sustainability um, around GitOps and how can GitOps help help sustainability? Yeah, and there's a session for that coming up today. Yes, yes, yeah. and there's a session about that. Um, and also like AIML, right? So like, how does GitOps fit into like AIML uh, workloads, right? I, I believe that the 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 there's been a lot of work already done with that, but now like the the subgroup has started for people who are interested in the in that as well. Um, also subgroups, there's. Uh, I guess by de facto my subgroup, right? For for the events, for mm -hmm. for things mm -hmm. like this, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're we're also talking about like other kind of more um, open forum type of events, right? Where we've been kind of toying with, right? So that way maybe we'll have some of these meetings maybe more often and more of a bird of a feather type of 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 events, uh, smaller, uh, more more frequent. But anyway, um, you know. Yeah, and if any of you like marketing, there's a marketing of you know yeah, like people that yeah, help exactly. with things like so. the social media, like Dan's doing right now. Um, uh, there's also a, um, a, a subgroup that I should give a shout out to, or, you know, mention that is about, um, uh, fact checking for GitOps, uh, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, as you probably all know, um, that's become kind of a buzzword, right? And it can be, um, there are very, um, there are very agreed upon principles now, um, that are agreed upon by, by representatives from pretty much the entire community. Um, however, there's still a lot of marketing out there that, you know, that will say, um, 
you know, we're doing something on GitOps, but it really doesn't adhere to the GitOps principles at all. So this fact-checking group is really just a helper group, not like to call people out like policing them, but just a, a, fa a helper group to say, oh, you know, you all may not have known that, that, uh, that these principles were released by CNCF and Linux Foundation and agreed upon by all these other people, et cetera, and uh, please join us, you know, and, and let's, let's help you with, you know, getting that information out there and so that you can spread um, accurate information. So if anyone wants to be part of that, that's a really important piece because this has to do with how CNCF uh, relates to the wider tech community. Cool. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, uh, yeah, events. So we, there, there's been some events uh, centered around uh, GitOps, right? Um, one of them being ArgoCon. ArgoCon 2022 happened. It happened in, um, in the Mountain View area in um, the Computer Science Museum there. So if you've ever been in the Bay Area, you know where that is. Um, and um, it was the second ArgoCon, but the first time in person. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I was there. Um, and um, it was uh, a great event that happened, right? And where, um, that's um, members from the GitOps Working Group also did ArgoCon. And, uh, and then also GitOps Day happened, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, GitOps Day is focusing on Focusing on Flux happened. It was really great. Uh, yeah, check out the doc or check out the videos from both of those events yeah. for sure. Um, and I'm gonna try to speed us up a little yes. bit because we just hit the 9:30 mark, but we still have a few more minutes before the next talk. So yeah. um, I just like to I like the DJ, DJ Desired State you guys had there. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I like yeah. that name. And um, yeah. yeah, we're planning GitOpsCon um, for um, Amsterdam currently. So we're looking for sponsors. Right, so we're, we're always looking for sponsors. They, they help out a lot. They help out to put in this event. So either ask me or Scott um, um, if you're interested in sponsoring uh, the next event, so. Cool, so next one. So what's next, right? Looking at the horizon, right? As uh, Scott said, fact checking, right? We need kind of folks to help out. Um, not, not only like to actually doing the fact checking, but like to develop a, um, I don't know, um, code of conduct, or, or I, I'm, I'm trying to find the, the right phrasing, but like kind of like a, a guidance of like how to approach, uh, be, um, you know, certain um, people that are using it more like a, um, like a marketing term versus an, an actual thing. Um, we, and we, ha we have an issue to help guide folks yeah. to that as well. Um, uh, conformance and certification, right? So we kind of, uh, um, uh, we need help around, um, you know, creating like a certified Certified get, uh, open GitOps, right? Or like, you know, for example, like Flux is certified for open GitOps, right? And so we kind of want to have start doing that with the, the working group as well. And then um, also, you know, helping out with trying to do um, um, create issues from PRs and vice versa, right? So like, if there's there may be a lot of issues, but not a lot of PRs, and try to like fix uh, fix that ratio a little bit. So things like um, you know best practices white papers, green papers we even talked about, uh, blogs, right? All of that is stuff um, that we invite all of you to uh, contribute to as well, right? So don't, don't feel that, um, you know, you have to be a maintainer or always present, right? Like we can do things asynchronously. That's what Git's for, so. That's um, right, and, and the website's just, it's just pull request based. So um, we can discuss it in Slack, we can discuss it on the meetings, um, open an issue or a discussion topic if you have them and want to do that. Otherwise, just uh, set pen to paper, you know? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, collaborate or do it, on, do it solo. Uh, also under the, the, the certification side, I just wanted to mention that uh, we are working with the, um, the CD Foundation um, to basically Linux, basically Linux Foundation is, is offering a, or creating a course on GitOps. And so the GitOps Working Group and Open GitOps Project from CNCF is working with CD Foundation to do that. So if you're interested in finding out more about that, I mean, we'll be announcing it uh, as it's coming closer, mm -hmm. but if for, for anyone interested in getting involved with that even potentially, um, let us know. Cool, and with that, I believe it's it, yeah. The more, get involved, the more the merrier. Um, yeah, you know where to find us, right? We uh, can join a meeting, uh, join a subgroup, um, you know, get involved with us. Um, you can, um, you know, Go to the website is probably the best place to start because that's where all our links are uh, there. Yeah, there's a good group of folks that 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 show up, including um, including the two of us and and, and several people from the audience here. So um, 
Yeah, uh, really, we've got a lot of great talks coming up, um, greater than the one that we just gave. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, we're excited um, in both rooms. So obviously, feel free to go back and forth between the two. Um, check out Sketch. Um, and we'll, we'll be just giving you, like, a, a little, um, we'll be coming up and announcing people as, as they go. One thing about if you're a speaker, for anyone that's in the audience that's a speaker already, or speakers that are already here, um, just um, please see Daniel in the back before you start speaking, and he'll help to give you one of these little packs and wire you up. Um, thank you. Cool. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll